Hey everybody, it's me. Let me sit down. I had to put my timer on because I'm filming in HD <laughs> and I only get nine minutes. I even got a bigger chip and it still only gives me nine minutes. I think I'm in frame here. This is the, um, the book cover. Well, it's the material that I have conditioned on the back to cover this book right here that I painted. I painted it. It was gray. And that's going to be the one that I do for my fundraiser. And I al had already showed you the interior that I was going to put in it. It was all of these papers right here. The ones that I had done in pink and my husband said they look purple. <laughs> but that's what's going to go into this right here. I'm going to put that aside. Um, whenever I said I had not done sewn in signatures, that wasn't quite true because I did do this one a while back. But this is the one that I had uh, sewn the signatures into crooked. They were crooked and they were loose and um, very, very crooked. This one sets up way higher. I did this a different way. I actually sewed it onto a piece of cardstock and then laid it, laid the cardstock down in and put the uh, sheet, you know, the cover sheets like that so it's not on the outside. That one's not on the outside, but that one turned out really cute. And I, uh, some of you probably remember that one. And this is a rice a box. And then right after I did that one, or maybe even before, I had done this one. This cover, I haven't finished it yet. It's just been sitting there wanting to be a co cover for a book for a long time. Uh, but now that I'm into, you know, doing the journals and making the journals, I'm going to finish this one off too. And that's also a rice a box. And you can see it's not very, one, two, three, four, five, six six inches by what um, four and a half four and three quarters but that um, came um, the paper I covered the box with that was out of my spray box where I would spray things with uh, my spray inks well on that note let me make sure I'm filming here yes I am don't even know where oh there I am there's my hand there's my hand I got to experimenting with some sprays now, um, I have um, a bunch of this paper. It's the regular just wrapping paper. Well, like, um, it's about this wide. Well, it's this wide, like that, and it's that color. You see how it's got that, it's, it's just that paper that they scrunch up and put in boxes to keep stuff from rolling around. You can see that's got a bunch of ink on it. But I had a box that I did that I wanted it to be a book cover. And I don't know if you can see the colors in that or not. It was a Suddenly Salad box. And I put Tyvek, which I did not do with this one. I put Tyvek in here to support this, um, the spine. But this was that paper. And I just kept spraying it and spraying it till I got it. Um, the co this is not ex at all what I was expecting it to turn out to look like, especially after I show you the, the sprays that I used on this cover. Um, it looked like this before I put the Mod Podge on it, and I did use gloss Mod Podge on that. I wouldn't have had it turned out differently, but with all of these colors, I just thought it looked like jewel-like. It had jewel tones in it, and I just love it. Actually, it would be like this. And I'm probably going to do what I did on this journal whenever I, I'm, I think I'm going to sew them to a piece of cardstock and then I'm going to put that into the book and I do use red line tape whenever I put that one, this one, I use red line tape uh, to attach that down in there. And but this is what it looked like before I sprayed it and then it turned out that color which I just thought was so pretty those colors were just so pretty and this is what I used um, I first I used my dilutions uh, pomegranate seed and it was this pinky color right here I said well that that's pretty but not really what I wanted and then I used glimmer mist and this is called memory I used that one and that's the blue which is that right there. That's the pomegranate 
and that's the blue. And then I said, well, I kind of wanted it to be a little old looking, so I sprayed on Lindy Stamp Gang Moon Shadow Mists, which is like a sepia, and it's Buccaneer Bronze, which did the bronze, the sparkly look, which is barely visible now. <laughs> and then I said, well, I wanted it old. I wanted it to look old. So I used melted chocolate. Believe it or not, this was totally saturated with melted chocolate. And I said, whoops, I've ruined it now, but I didn't. I sprayed a little bit more of this uh, blue, blue screen on it and a little bit more of the pomegranate on it. And that's what it turned out to look like. And I think it turned out really, really pretty. And I left, you know, I like the ridges. I crumpled the paper. I doubled the paper and then I crumpled it and then I sprayed it. And that's what it turned out to look like. And I think that's going to be a very, very, very pretty cover for a book. And I'm probably just, I, I'm probably going to actually use some of um, this in the water and dye the papers and maybe the pom, um, yeah, the pomegranate seed and, and make the pages match the, the cover. But I just wanted to share that with you. I just thought that was so cool. But, um, like I said, I'm going to do this one and I need to do this one and then I need to cover this book with this material <laughs> and um but I, at least i do have the insides to this book i i have it done already i just have to do these right here i'll probably just use some of the antique paper that i had done before in this one and i'm probably going to give this one away uh, maybe a surprise gift for somebody and maybe this one too but i love the colors and i don't know if i could ever duplicate that again but I'm writing in my other journal, and I, I have plenty of pages left in it. But anyway, that's what I've been up to. And like I said, the, who would have thought that, you know, pome um, pomegranate seed, this memory greenish blue, buccaneer bronze, and especially the melted chocolate. Like I said, it was just nothing but a puddle of brown whenever I got done with it. And I, oh, I did, uh, I dried it with my heat gun. All right, well, that's what I've been up to. Just wanted to, a little project share, and you will not see the, the pink ribbon. You will not see it again until I'm done with it. And um, this one you probably won't see again. I won't show you anything in between. All right, well, thank you all for watching, and I appreciate everybody watching. I've got some new subscribers, and that's really uh, exciting. And I may come on here with another uh, video later. Actually, I got home first, so I'm in charge of supper. <laughs> So I gotta go plan out my evening meal. Thank y'all for watching. Bye.